this uh, Kid Leroy Wild Dreams event. Uh, there's going to be something special. There's, I think it's going to be in creative. They made like a special dream island map for him. So uh, apparently there's going to be like three unreleased songs in his new single. And some people are saying there's going to be like a secret Juice World song possibly. So uh, collab with him in that. So I'm excited. Hopefully, hopefully it's super cool. That is, that is awesome. So definitely going to try to be a part of that. Uh, I don't think his skin is on the shop today, but let's check it out. Let's see what we have on the item shop. I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Uh, we got the Arctic Command Bundle back. The Arctic Assassin. An absolute zero. Nice. You know what? Always makes me happy to see these skins. They remind me of the old, you know, old OG days of Fortnite and all the fun I used to have playing with, like, subscribers and stuff back in the early days. Uh, this skin, or actually both of these, kind of combo with the snow area on the map right now. So this is, like, perfect if you like landing in, like, the icy snow areas of the map. Spire Immortal is back. Flapjackie. This is one you don't see that often. Great skin. Highly recommend Flapjackie. Uh, we got the Musha and the Hime skins. Uh, Prickly Patroller is back. Survivor Salt. Wow. This one's awesome. I love that front flip. Uh, Fortnited. Take 14. Studded Axe. Wow. So happy to see this back. This is this is in my uh, top 10 favorite Fortnite harvesting tools. Uh, there's something special about this one. I'll talk about it later, but it's a very chill and quiet sounding harvesting tool. So if you're in the mood to just like relax, kind of ASMR, you know, this is the quietest or one of the quietest harvesting tools. And it doesn't hurt your ears when you uh, swing this one because there are some harvesting tools in Fortnite like like this one and stuff that just make like a really loud or heavy sound. This one too. So, some people like something quiet. Uh, oh, all the Marvel stuff is still here. That is insane. Okay. I see you, Fortnite. I see you. Okay. Everything is still here. And we got the Dead Space bundle as well. A lot of people picking this one up, I'm noticing. Uh, so, let's see. If you are buying anything on the Fortnite item shop for today, be sure to use code ASMR Gaming. And uh, let's take a look here. We got the Arctic Assassin Stay Frosty. This is a bundle. So you can get both the skins, the glider, and the harvesting tool for much cheaper than, than usual. Good skin, Season 1 of Fortnite. Over here we have Absolute Zero Freeze Out the Competition. Now I have to say something. I kind of wish, since these skins were in the game for such a long time, I wish they had like a second style or something. It would be nice if Fortnite updated them and you know gave them a second, maybe newer style. But uh, maybe they do. They'll do that one day in the future. Who knows? Over here we got the Snow Squall Glider. Unleash Winter's Icy Wrath. Let me tell you about Winter's Icy Wrath. It is cold outside right now. I'm not sure where everybody, you know, that watches uh, the channel here is from, but I'm sure some of you are probably in really cold areas like me right now, like uh, snow, and when it's not snowing, it's just like icy cold and windy, so uh, if, you're, if you're living in a warm area right now, you're lucky. Uh, we got the icebreaker harvesting tool, a great way to meet your fellow combatants. Always like the sound this made. Uh, so that whole set, you can buy it. Together or separate, uh, Spire Immortal is back. The Spire's Final Nightmare. Very cool. I like the animations on the skin. Comes with a Spire's Touch. Back bling, look at that. Dark magic always leaves its mark. Whoa. That, looks act that actually looks kind of cool. Over here we have the Spire Shard Harvesting Tool. I like how it's like constantly moving and stuff. Do you see that? See that? Awesome. Forged in the Spire's Fury. Over here we got Flapjackie. Now Flapjackie's kind of like a Fortnite favorite. Uh, this skin came out back in like Season 6. 
and there's still people that use this as their main Fortnite skin. There's like a whole like fan community for like the skins like Flapjacky, Shadow Ops, Bullseye, you know. That there's people that just use this one as their main. Um, love pancakes almost as much as Victory. Good skin also has a second style. Not a huge fan of the second style as much as the first one, but still good. I love the fact that the Flapjacky skin likes pancakes. I like pancakes too. Pancakes are delicious. Uh, yeah, good skin, good skin. Comes with the nipples, back bling. A little creepy maybe, but still kind of popular. I know people like this back bling as well. Stuffed full of carrots. Over here we have Growler. Now Growler looks very interesting. Like, look at those teeth coming out there. Those things look sharp. <laughs> this good boy is not afraid to bare his teeth. Uh, cool skin, but I don't like it as much as the Flapjacky skin. Back bling, woofs. I like this back bling a little bit better than the other one, though. Already housebroken. Here we have the Jack Spammer. Swing it over and over and over and over. I like the little, like, engine on the back there. Poofy parasail, puffed up and ready for landing. Looks nice. And, uh, down here we got the Bushido bundle with the Musha skin if you're in a samurai. This is the skin for you. Musha, a fearless and noble warrior. Very nice. With the Sashimono back bling, storied sigil. We have the Hime skin, cat-like grace under pressure. Comes with a Shiro back bling, Yan. The cat's claw, harvesting tool, scratch and slash. And the perfect glider. It's the cat's meow. I like this glider, to be honest. Uh, then we have the dark heart skin, statuesque heartbreaker. I'm not a huge fan of this. This it's basically like a dark series version of the what is it? Stone Heart skin or Love Heart? Stone Heart, I think is what it's called. Uh, back bling's pretty cool though. You can combo this with a lot of other skins. Heartbreakingly flappy. We got Prickly Patroller. There was a time when this skin was very, very rare. It's not anymore, but it was for a little bit. Just a cactus being a cactus. I miss when Fortnite would make more like fun skins like this, you know, just wacky costume type skins, you know, like wearing like a cactus outfit is just fun. Hopefully they make more stuff like that soon. Here we have the studded axe. Like I said, very, very quiet. Uh, animation is nice, you know. Uh, if you look closely every once in a while, these diamonds will kind of like sparkle or shine. So, not only does it look kind of expensive and like elegant, but it's pretty chill and quiet, which a lot, which is why I learned that a bunch of uh, pro players actually only use the studded axe. Uh, some people do not like the sounds in Fortnite, so they try to go for, you know, a glider that's very quiet, uh, harvesting tools that are very quiet, stuff basically, so the game is like much easier for them, so, you know, there's some harvesting tools that just like make a super loud sound when you use them, and some people don't like that, so this is definitely one of the quieter ones. I I remember Cypher PK mentioning this as well at one point. I think he did a video on like the top five quietest Fortnite harvesting tools or something. Uh, or maybe it was Ninja. No, I think it was Cypher. I think it was Cypher. It was like many years ago, though. I have to go check that video out. Uh, here we have Survivor Salt. Love that. <laughs> Been doing this. We got Fortnited. You can knight your friends. Arise, a knight of the realm. So you have to synced emote. If you're playing with your friends, you can knight your friends with this emote. We got Take 14. This has been in the game since Season 4. I remember when that came out. And action. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Fortnite item shop today. So thank you all for listening, for watching, and I'll see you all next time. So long, and farewell.